Zika virus is a uh, virus that is spread to humans through the bite of an infected mosquito, the Aedes aegypti mosquito, which is also the primary vector that transmits dengue, chikungunya, and yellow fever. This mosquito uh, is found throughout different regions in the world, through the Americas, in Africa, in Asia, and also the Pacific Islands. In the beginning, when we first knew about this disease in the 1940s throughout 2007, it's very mild um, fever, rash, conjunctivitis, um, which is the reddening of the eyes. You can have muscle and joint pain. Um, so basically self-limiting. Now with this virus, what we're seeing is that there's a question whether there are severe complications to Zika virus. And that could include a neurological type of complications, uh, like Guillain-Barre syndrome, which is the weakening of muscles. Also, there's a question whether um, there's any association with Zika virus and congenital malformations, like, con like uh, microcephaly. Right now in Brazil, they're reporting increases of microcephaly cases, which is the small heads of newborn babies. And so um, we're, we're questioning whether there's any relationship between Zika and microcephaly. Well, there's no specific treatment for Zika virus disease, and there's no vaccine. However, we have seen that most of the cases are mild, or some of them do not even show any symptoms. However, if you do have symptoms, you can take supportive therapy medicines to cure your headache or your muscle or joint pain. Well, travelers should um, follow their guidelines from their respective own countries. As with all vector-borne diseases, we do advise all travelers, all people living in areas of subtropical and tropical areas to wear protective clothing. For pregnant women, uh, we advise pregnant women to seek consultation with their physician. Well, the best way to prevent yourself from getting um, bit by a mosquito is to use either in, uh, mosquito repellent or protective clothing during the peak hours of when the mosquito will bite, which is usually early in the morning and late in the afternoon. And also for children that, or elderly or people that may be resting during the day, they can use bed nets to also create another barrier between themselves and the mosquito.